what is going on killers and welcome back to the channel guys i am sorry it has been over a half a year since i made a video but uh life has changed a lot um some for the better some for the worst but either way most of it's a personal matter and uh, i'm gonna choose to leave it that way for right now um i know eventually it'll all come out and everything like that but i just don't feel like talking about it so uh Let's do some suspension work. Basically what I'm going to be doing is installing a package that Lethal Performance has put together from BMR, which is what they call the Steak Potatoes and Side of MVH. <laughs> so I also added a bolt-on anti-roll bar that I'm going to add into the mix. And uh, you guys probably, if you, hopefully you remember, uh, I want, uh, I upgraded my Viking shocks with a, uh, a Keltrak uh, bearing, uh, trying to reduce as much deflection as possible in this uh, quest for 10s, NA, uh, actually 10-0 is the plan, 10-0, I don't care it's a, if it's a 10-09, it is going to be 10-0 car, NA, manual, factory M80, M80, if I could speak, MT-82, <laughs> Well, but uh, I'm going to flip the camera around. Let's get started. All right, basically, so the agenda is to get this bushing out and replace it with this one because this is, you know, rubber. And with a manual car, uh, that deflects a lot more than an automatic car. Uh, manuals are a lot harder on the drivetrain. So this is going to be the save all. Now, as you can tell, I've kind of beat up on it, and I knew this video was going to have to change because I was going to get this out without using any special tools but um, giving that up this right here is a Maximum Motorsports uh, bushing remover this is basically designed for the older 8.8's that had the 4 link instead of the 3 link but the bushing is the same uh, diameter but the they are just longer so I had to go and buy a longer bolt um, just a FYI for anybody that already has this tool uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this out and then we're gonna take it and pressure wash it degrease it and give it a paint job got it all set up ready to remove all I gotta do is start tightening that up and this will help uh, basically it will pull it through this cup so basic basic tool pretty pretty cool but uh, if you have this tool and you need the longer bolt, that is a 7 16 bolt, not very common thread. Uh, Home Depot didn't even have any 7 16 uh, But this is a grade 8, and it's 6 inches long. You could probably get a little bit shorter, but, uh, you know, it's really hard to come by. So, anyway, just a tip. And eventually, you will get to this point. Now, that tool that I was showing you, wherever I put it, it's around here somewhere. It is a little too short, so you will have to get creative to get the last little bit out. I just took a chisel and a hammer and caught it on that lip, knocked it right out. No big deal. So you're going to want to take some emery cloth or whatever you got laying around, sandpaper, etc. And clean that up and, but, and then install your new bushing. But before that, I want to get all of this off. I want to degrease it and I'm going to give it a paint job. This is a secret of mine, so don't tell nobody. This is Rust-Oleum Appliance Paint. It's epoxy, and it will fill in all that porous material from the casting. And this thing will be, it is a very durable surface. So don't tell nobody, nice secret to know. While we have a minute and we're waiting on the paint to dry, I would like to talk about the new uh, upper control arm. This is the mount. This is from uh, BMR, and as you can see, it gives you different mounting locations uh, that change the geometry of the suspension. A lot more of a beefier unit. Here's the stock one. Still, This is still hooked up to the control arm, but uh, stamped steel. Uh, been known to deflect. At least that's what they claim anyway. I'm really not sure. It doesn't really matter. This came with the kit. Uh, now, I can tell you that I know that those bushings do deflect and uh like i said this is the stock 
control arm. This is the new one. Oop, there it went one of those. And this is a solid bushing bearing, whatever you want to call it, spherical, uh, adjustable. Lots of room for improvement. Uh, I'm going to have to set the length. Uh, I'm just going to do everything stock, and then I will have my suspension guy do everything uh, everything he wants to do to it. So there's that, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that installed. And I've gotten to this point where I have the rear inside. It didn't turn out too bad considering that it rained shortly after I did it, and then I scratched it with the jack stand. Anyway, not important, just looks better than the uh, rust cast that it is uh, to this point. So this is going to be installed from the passenger side in. So you're looking at it. So you're putting it in like that, and that's the way it'll be orientated. So then the next challenge will be this two inch nut. I do not have a two inch socket. Um, I thought that this thing was going to be big enough as a 15 inch adjustable, but it was not big enough. So I'm going to use uh, a socket tomorrow morning. I'm going to go pick one up. Um, and then when you install this, you use red Loctite. Repeat that red Loctite. So uh, we'll pick this video back up tomorrow. And eventually you'll get to the point right here where you have the shock and the spring back in place and everything. And then you have to mount the lower control arm relocation brackets. Um, I'm not going to get into specifics on how to install these because there's a lot of great videos on how to do that. Uh, very simple and straightforward. These all just mount in the factory uh, holes and uh, then you can pick for your your setting on where the actual uh, control arm mounts to one of those three holes right there very simple and straightforward this is where the factory location is and this basically just mounts on bolts up to the uh, the factory holes and one of these days I'll take the rear back off and uh, you know weld all this stuff and make it all nice and pretty and sandblast that and give it a proper paint job this paint job did not turn out as well as I wanted it to and you can see that I already have the driver side mounted and ready to go so I will get to this side real quick and get back to you after I'll have that done up next is the pan hard bar pretty solid nothing really special uh, there is the adjustment point uh, I'm gonna put this on the driver side so therefore this will be on the the upward angle all right this might be a little strange as i'm reporting from the trunk of the car i've cut the spare tire well out of this car um you're gonna get to this point now this is pretty cool there's the upper control arm you see how that's all set up pan hard bars installed uh lower control arms lower control lower control arm relocation brackets and uh, I don't really have anything tightened up per se, but I, I've come to a point where I'm just going to show you guys. Um, I was told, uh, by the way, this is the, uh, just a, a side note. This is the factory uh, bump stops or, you know, snubbers, whatever you want to call them. I just cut the top little lip off of both of them. And if that doesn't work, I'll just buy new ones because they're only like 50 bucks or 60 bucks. But anyway, I digress. I go back to the point. I am putting the lower, uh, I'm sorry, the anti-roll bar on. Now, this is a bolt-on kit that I got. So, basically, this is just one of the brackets. This bolts here. Now, it will work with the lower control arm relocation brackets. You see, there's the spacer, and that just bolts right up to it. I'm sorry about that little glare on, from the sun. Let me see if I can block it out a little bit better. See, spacer, and here's that plate. Now... The robot, the anti roll bar itself is going to slide into that, and the other side, this bracket right here, is going to bolt onto that side. That is going to go like so. So you're going to use uh, the actual bolt hole that the um, the the damper, the weight, 
went in and then the factory bolt for the lower control arm um, that's gonna bolt right up to that same thing pretty much same situation that was where the damper was and that is the factory hole for the lower control arm so uh, you have to put this and the bar on at the same time because you don't really have a lot of room and then the hind joints go where the factory linkage went so uh, I'll be having this all bolted up real soon and we'll check it out. Well, there you basically have it. Everything is installed. Everything looking nice. The uh, that top mount, the upper control arm, got the anti roll bar on, the new uh, uh, pan hard bar, lower control arm, lower control arm brackets. Everything is looking really good. Uh, the new Vikings uh, had the Cobra Jet shock or springs. Uh, just like I said before, I had just trimmed off uh, uh, about an inch off the factory uh, bump stops. But yeah, everything is looking really good. I'm pretty happy with everything right now. Uh, these hind joints they take spacers. Uh, fairly simple if you watch the directions. Now, see, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna tell you right now. This right here. It's going to have to be trimmed. Uh, obviously, there's no load on the suspension, so that hind joint's resting right there on that mount. But uh, I'm going to take and trim that off to where there will be clearance for me to use that second hole if needed. Yeah, so basically I'll be doing some uh, some measurements and settings here uh, in the next couple of hours. Just going over everything, load the suspension, trim up some things, tighten up the bolts go over everything, give everything once over. Uh, I'm going to get this thing dialed in. I mean, obviously, I have to go to the track and stuff like that. I'm going to take it to... Uh, I'm going to take it to somebody that I know that has a rack that they can get get it and get it all dialed in with lasers and stuff like that, get the pinion angle set better than I can with my, you know, these the pinion angle uh, finders and stuff like that. The angle finders are not as good as they used to be. They're all you know, made in China, Harbor Freight quality. Uh, it's very hard to find a good quality one anymore. But, uh, yeah. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. It will be on the rear brake install. So, uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.